Stephen, uh, Mr. Ames, Mr. Rowe, what is in the minor street? Uh, thank you, City Council. The first time I've addressed you, uh, since you, uh, you guys come on board, I want to thank you. Uh, the City Council, I've seen a lot of you guys have been working with you uh, when you're not here, so I want to thank you. Uh, I don't speak for myself, but you guys, uh, uh, I have to thank Mr. Brown, who calls me about many issues. Uh, it's Tony George, I was still on the phone about many issues. Uh, when is going to bring up next week at Luzerne Community College on Thursday, 6 o'clock? Once again, there will be panels that will be speaking about the gang situations that are addressing our community and to our PA. Next Thursday, this one will be under how we come together as a community. And this will have Mr. Arthur Breeze, uh, who works uh, with diversity, uh, Mr. Carmen Epizino, uh who is Wyoming Valley Drug and Alcohol, and myself, uh, and other members of the community. Uh, last time we had this, I know I believe that you were in session, uh, and I didn't see any council people or, or anyone from mayor's office. I understand you guys are busy. We worked this time to make sure that you guys were not in session, which is next Thursday, once again. And again, uh, this is something that we've been working on for many, many years. I know the gang issue very personally when I was a young kid. I'm a member of the New York Gangs Association, so I keep up with the statistics and everything else. Ladies and gentlemen, the less we come together as a community and address these issues jointly and get your ideas and how the community is, I've said it over and over again, I will say it again. You haven't seen anything yet. These are issues that will cover drug and alcohol, how they come to our communities and how communities work together. And how we do this is by many things, by meeting together and asking the community is. Once again, I do ask, and I've been asking that we restart the Civilian Police Academy that was here many, many, many years ago. Uh, whatever reason I don't, and I'm not getting the cooperation I thought I would get, uh, I've discussed it with uh, Councilman Brown, uh, Councilman George, and I spoke to Chief of Police today. So I'm hoping, once again, that you can be the words of reasoning, saying this is good when you get the police and the civilians coming together and working and learning what each other needs. That way, you can support the crime watchers that still to this day say, say they don't get that kind of support. We need that kind of going. And I think by then we can address other issues that affect that community. Again, I get many phone calls, again, by issues of racial profile. That has become such a problem in our nation that last Tuesday in the Senate, Senator Biden, the chair is now chairing the concerns throughout the nation of racial profiling with police officers. Not to say all police officers do it, believe me, they do a fine job. But when you have the Senate that's now addressing that, after 10 years once again bringing that up, Believe me, we have to come together and make sure that's not happening in our communities. So once again, I ask you, next Thursday is very important. The last time we had this tank college, when I tell you we're standing room only, we didn't have enough seats. We had to get people in the other room. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been coming to city council for a long period of time. And for those who don't know me, I work the streets harder than anybody. This week alone, I've met with many church leaders, community leaders. And when I tell you the concerns an all-time high, because of the shooting of that young man whose life was taken too short, this is the time we have to come together, ladies and gentlemen. Gangs affect everything. Drug use, what happens in the streets. And people use this to divide this. It is not people of one certain group, income of color. Gangs come in all groups and sub-sizes. But sometimes, unless we educate the community, they will use this to divide us. When I tell you when I walk the streets, I just mentioned gangs, how people use racial slurs to divide and say, it's that kind of gang and this and this. Ladies and gentlemen, please attend this. Because down the road, when these senators and congressmen, who now have pictures are taking credit for jobs that have been done by the community, we're the ones who have to work together. We're the ones who have to address this issue that affects our churches and our schools and our communities. I cannot stress to you how strongly I hope you attend this. And this will be a series of two more that we, we go throughout this area. But again, once they leave, it's in our ballpark. But it starts now, so please, if you can get that Civil Police Academy, uh, go on, if I get that support, please. Uh, and I thank you once again, anything City Council, I can do a few, please reach out to me like you've been doing. I don't mind your phone calls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. That is